In the Settings tab, an administrator can create new tenants or delete them. Then switching over to Projects, we can see which projects have been uploaded to the system. And this may be unexpected, but when we see this list of projects, this is where we can delete projects from the server. So if you've uploaded a project to the server, this is where you delete it. And also, this is where you activate or deactivate whether or not a given project's hot folders are active. So that used to be in the Processing Monitor GUI, and now it's in the Administration and Monitoring Console. And with the user's view, I can see the system users, and I can also create and delete users as needed. We can also create and delete groups, and we can also monitor requests that users have put in from a web client to see if they want to be added to the FlexiCapture system. We can also import users and groups from Active Directory. Next, we'll go to the application server. To be able to see the application server views, you must be a Windows authorized user. So I'll be able to add the WinAuth suffix to the URL. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. And once we're connected here, we can then connect to an existing database or create a brand new database upon installation. We also have an SMTP settings tab where we can configure SMTP settings. These allow us to send emails and receive notifications. It's important to be able to get notified, say, if your system is running low on pages. So that's one example of a notification you can configure and receive. Email notifications can be customized as needed, so that's easy to do. And you've got a number of different categories of emails that you can send. It's important to take the time to configure this so that you're all set to go into production. We also have event logging messages that can be configured. It's important to make sure that you're not selecting, say, too many events, and you want to keep an eye on how much storage space you're taking up, especially when you're logging all events. We don't recommend logging all events if you're processing large amounts of documents. The database will grow in size very quickly. You've got some other options like do not log report data or do not log anything. And you can also do custom logging modes. So if you want to record only specific events, select this option and then select the desired events from the list. The database can accumulate a lot of data as you use Abbey FlexiCapture, causing performance drops. To avoid this, you can delete the data in the database. You can do this automatically or manually, so automatic cleanup is enabled by default. If you want to make changes to the time frame, you can also do a manual cleanup at the time frame of your choosing.